five talk groups available. Uh, every talk group takes a separate channel. Okay, so I guess what I do then is I can uh, create a zone with the repeater and create a couple of zones, because I think this will only do like 16 channels, and then each individual uh, time uh, talk group, I make that a channel. Like that, that, that makes it more sense, okay? So you've got the combination of frequency, uh, time slot, which I figured that out, but it's the talk group and uh, how to get it to, you know, uh, bring up only that particular talk group, so if I want to... Uh, you know, use that talk group, and uh, so I think I understand that. And uh, is there with the scan list is like when it's scanning through. If, it, if somebody talks on a, a talk group you got programmed in the scan list, does it automatically stop, and then you can go back to them in a certain amount of time, or or how does that work? WGXAB, um, you have a group list, or sometimes referred to as a receive list which is a list of talk groups. When you're on that channel, if any activity happens on any of those talk groups, you will hear it. Uh, typically, if you key up where the hang timer on the repeater drops, you end up automatically transmitting on that talk group. But it's not a safe thing to do because you may end up on the, on the talk group for that channel instead of the the one you were listening to. So you typically need to change the channel you want to communicate on. Uh, so in other words, uh, I think the MD380, I think you can have like 32 talk groups in the receive list or something. Some radios are 16, uh, some are larger. Uh, you know, a lot of the talk groups you find on a lot of the repeaters are very seldom if ever used. Uh, I think on the repeater you're on, you have like worldwide Spanish, worldwide German, worldwide Nordic. Uh, probably you don't speak Nordic, I would guess. So you're never going to use that. So we have Okay, thanks, John. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess, uh, but if you want only one particular talk group, in other words, uh, the first time I talked to K2, RFS, or something like that, he wanted me to go to talk group 310, so I need to take and program a contact name uh, for, three, uh, for that particular, con or, uh, for that particular, oh, this is confusing, <laughs> for this particular channel. So I think I'm getting it. I don't want to take up all the time on repeat, but I thank everybody for the uh, time very much. N-A-K-E-N. Yeah, you basically need to pre-program the radio for a channel for every talk group you want to use on that repeater. Uh, uh, see, the repeater you're using is located in Green Hills, Ohio. Uh, this section of uh, Winton and Sharon Roads. Uh, yeah, that used to be an old Motorola site over there, so I imagine that's why it's <laughs> DMR over there. But, uh, yeah, I'm only on a handheld, too, and uh, I think sometimes I drop out, and uh, I guess it kind of it tells you when you're not making a repeater, it won't come back and show you that you're on that particular uh, talk group. So uh, I have to be kind of careful where I stand, but uh, it, it's a different, uh, different animal. Yes, if the repeater is not up and you key up, it won't let you talk. But if the repeater happens to be up and you key up, you'll transmit even if you're not making it. Uh, so, okay, that is, do you have any more questions? You know, you, we got, as long as you got quarters, we'll keep going. Well, I can keep uh, going real long here, but uh, I guess I'm not smart enough yet to know what they ask. So, uh, so this happens uh, every um, uh, every what is tonight? <laughs> Wednesday night here, or is it Thursday? I don't know. But uh, this uh, net. Oh yeah, Wednesday, Thursday. You said. Uh, is, is there any other good nets uh, for technical nets? There's another tech net on. A local time, Sunday evenings at 8 p.m. Eastern, 
uh, on Pac-310. And then there is a Saturday East Coast noon time at on North America. I'm sorry, not North America, on Worldwide, which is really just a worldwide check-in net. Uh, so you can spend an hour listening to all these stations around the world check-in. Okay, thank you very much, John, and I will go ahead and give the repeater back to you and give me your address or send the money. So again, in N-A-K-E-N. Okay, any other call zones, 8, 9, or 0, W2XAB with questions or comments. Okay, hearing none, we'll add call zone 7. Call zone 7, 8, 9, or 0. And I'm going in reverse order this tonight. Not to make the zero people and the people at the end of the list feel like they have to wait to the end. Anyone seven, eight, nine, or zero? Come now. Okay, hearing no one, we'll add call zone six. Call zone six, although they may not be on tonight because they may be watching the events that are happening out in California. Uh, call zone six, seven, eight, nine, or zero. Call now, W2XAB. Okay, let's add call zone five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, or zero. Do we two X A B questions or comments for the technic? Kilo Foxtrot five, single kilo foxtrot. I have a question. Why is there so much difference in modulation on DMR? Um, when I get on this, one radio is the volume down, the next radio is turn the volume way up. What is why is that? Uh, KF7TXF, Steve, from Little Rock, Arkansas. The reason is because people like you have your audio way down, way too low. <laughs> uh, you don't have your audio set correctly. Uh, the people do not set their audio levels correctly. And if they did, we wouldn't have that problem. Some people are too loud, and some people, you have to crank the volume up to hear them. And then when someone else comes on, it's way too loud. Oops, look like he didn't like what you said. Steve, are you using an external mic on your radio? And what model radio are you using? W2XAV. I have a uh, CS700. Okay, well, you were louder that time. It may just be you're not talking into where the microphone is in the radio. Well, I'm talking about receiving. Sometimes, you know, you can hear a conversation one. Your volume just explodes, and then you have to turn it up to the other person. There is an audio test talk group, and there's also an echo test parrot on that's available 
on many of the repeaters. Uh, talk group 9998 and 9999. Uh, if you use the audio cast and you go to the NorCal EMR website, uh, they have a VU meter that will show you how what your audio level is. Uh, the problem is to accurately set it takes about a thirty-five thousand dollars service monitor, and most hands don't have one available. Let me uh, make a comment. Uh, anyone be? Uh, go ahead, Bill. Okay, uh, John, uh, anyone be here in New Hampshire? Um, yes, if uh, you go to NorCalDMR.org, there's a uh, tab called Listen Now, and it will bring up a VU meter. And you can see your audio level there and in different ranges, whether it's too low or in the average uh, green range, or if it's too high. Unfortunately, the CS700 did not have a software um, microphone gain control, as uh, some of the other radios do. So that was a difficult one. It was a fixed level. Same thing with the uh, MD380 Titera. But the Titera radio uh, had a different resistor, different microphone gain from the beginning, and uh, it was much louder. So it, it never had a problem and didn't need a um, software adjustment for the most part. The CS700, some of them were modified with a resistor change, and um, if you upgrade the CS700 to the CS750, um, those have been corrected for uh, audio level adjustment. Uh, so the, I guess that's all I wanted to say about that. Some radios have the software adjustment, some don't. Uh, back to you, John. Anyone be? Okay, uh, hopefully that answers your question on the audio. Also, if you go to the NorCalDMR.org website, you have to use a Chrome browser, I believe, on your desktop in order to see uh, the VU meter. If I'm correct. Bill, if I'm mistaken on that, please correct me. And that is correct. Uh, use a Chrome browser so that you can see the VU meter. Um, other browsers it did not work on. Do you have any other questions for the tech net? Or does that answer your question? Okay, let's see if we got any more questions. Call zones 56789 or 0. Come down, W2XCB. Well, Victor Echo 7, Lima Echo Echo 10, just checking in. Okay, Ted, we're not taking check-ins. Do you have a question or comment for the TechNet? Well, my comment is, 
if anybody's interested, there is a Facebook group, and the Facebook group can be found at Facebook forward slash groups forward slash BMR dot tech. It's spelled Tango Echo Charlie Hotel. If people want to ask questions there or look up the answers there, eight e seven L E P. Thank you for that information, Ted. Okay. What's that call zone four? Call zone four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or zero. Anyone with questions or comments? For